Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, October 26, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We've got two kicking off noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, and then two night games coming your way. So four games on the slate for today's show. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome, guys. What you're looking to bet on the college football or NFL card this weekend. I'll be in there reading the comments, chiming in with you. Hey, some of you guys trolling out there. That's all right, though. Hey, if we have some losers, uh, I can handle it. But, um, hey, if you're winning out there, uh, let us know as well. If you got any winners, throw them in the comments. All right, let's kick it off here. We're heading to MetLife Stadium for Notre Dame and Navy. 50 being the total. The Irish, minus 13 and a half or minus 14. Two touchdowns as the road favorite. Notre Dame comes in six and one straight up, five and two against the spread. They've covered three straight games. Playing some good football here in Navy themselves. I mean, you know, the story is Navy and Army really in college football. One of the big stories anyway. They're five and zero oh against the spread versus FBS teams. They've covered five straight games. Now, granted, their strength of schedule is not great. And that's something I worry about. You know, in college football, when you're off to a great start and then you take a step up in class, you know, how do you take a step up in class? It could be a big step for some of these teams. Now, they did beat Memphis, who's 6-1 and one on the season, but they gave up 44 points to Memphis. They had to outscore them there. They scored 34-plus points in every game, 6-0 and oh to the over. So I actually think Navy's going to be able to score. I, I, I don't question their offense as much. I question their defense. And Notre Dame's averaging over 40 points in their last five games. This one we actually broke down, guys. Um, I, I just started this past week, college football opening line report. And I was saying this over could get some could, could, could get some push. And sure enough, we have seen some over money. So uh, overall, guys, I, I agree with it. And at this number, I still like it. So we're going Notre Dame and Navy up and over to start us off here early on Saturday. We got next noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific kick. We're heading to Bloomington, Indiana for Washington, the Huskies, and the Indiana Hoosiers. Indiana was six and a half. Now they're they're five and a half. So a full point move here as the home favorite, 53 being the total. As I'm doing this Friday afternoon, guys, about 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, just so you know. Uh, some of you guys chiming in there in, in older videos, but um, that, that's what I'm doing this with these numbers right now. Does look like sunny and beautiful in uh, Memorial Stadium, Bloomington, Indiana, college game day location, by the way. So this is going to be a big time matchup here, kicking us off on Saturday. And I like the Washington Huskies. I really do, guys. Plus five and a half right now. That's going to be the play. I know going up against an undefeated 7-0 Indiana team can always be tough. They've also covered six straight. But the story here, and part of the reason for the for the line move, is their quarterback, Curtis Rourke. Um, you know, he transferred over from the MAC conference with Ohio. It, it was a great quarterback there. He's obviously been a good quarterback here at Indiana. We had a thumb injury. He's likely not to play here. So, Hey, anytime you get a quarterback going out, the backup coming in who did play well against Nebraska, he does get a full, you know, week of practice with the ones. But I think there's too many question marks here on the Indiana side. Now, granted, they have scored 40 plus in six straight. They just beat Nebraska 56 to seven. So they're riding in high. But the story here is irregardless of Indiana, I had in my notes, you know, I, I sit there, I sit here and watch college football pretty much all day long you know, on Saturdays, Thursdays, Fridays as well. And one of the notes I made myself two weeks ago was look to bet on the Washington Huskies um, in their first game back. And now that was two weeks ago. They had an off week. And sure enough, the Washington Huskies, their last time out was against Iowa, against the Hawkeyes. And that Iowa defense is for real. They're legit. And they lost that game 40 to 16. However, so the ball bounced against them and it kind of got away from them. And then they were playing catch up. So I think the score looks a little bit worse than it really was. And this Indiana team, their quarterback is, is or excuse me, the Washington side, their quarterback, Will Rogers. I think he's a really good college college football quarterback. And this is his first year in a new system transferring over from Mississippi State, which I think he's their all-time leading passer. And it's a new staff, new head coach, new quarterback. First game back off of an off week. I love this situation to bet on because you can kind of go back, work on fundamentals, and, and 
really get better at, at, at your weaknesses. Now they're four and three. They, they haven't, you know, played that bad and they've played a pretty tough schedule. Now going up against seven and oh, Indiana is going to be tough, but overall guys, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they go in here and ruin the party in Bloomington and win outright. So I like them on the money line, but for the show, we're going plus five and a half. That's the Washington Huskies over the Indiana Hoosiers. we got two night games up next and, uh, one of them, a huge rivalry. I don't know how big of a rivalry it will be this week because one of the teams is really good and the other team isn't very good at all. But it is on ESPN, 7 p.m. primetime game, 7 p.m. Eastern here. Hard Rock Stadium, Miami, Florida. It's FSU and Miami. Miami minus 21, total 54 and a half. Florida State comes in one and six on the season, just two and five against the spread. The Miami Hurricanes, seven and oh, they're they're four and three against the spread, but they're also seven and oh to the over. This team can score with anybody. I mean, can't Cam Ward watching them behind center. Uh, their offensive line is great. They got the number one offense by uh, yards in, in the country, 577 yards per game. And they're up against number 132 in, Ted, in, in terms of offensive yardage. And that's the Florida State Seminoles, 276 yards per game. So Miami has more than twice the yardage that the Seminoles have. This is the first time they've been favored in this series since 2018. They were two touchdown favorites in that one. FSU's off the loss at Duke. They've lost three straight by an average of over 14 points. Uh, This this Seminoles team is just a team I'm looking to go against, guys. Um, And the Miami Hurricanes, this team, this is going to be a tough team to step in front of. Now, I know last week against Louisville, 52 to 45, they let up 45 points. But I don't think Florida State can score like Louisville can. So I don't think they're going to have to worry about it. And last thing here in the series, guys, last year FSU won 27-20. The year before, FSU came into Hard Rock Stadium and won 45-3. to They really beat down the Miami Hurricanes. So they've won three straight in the series. Revenge isn't a huge handicap angle for me. But keep it in mind that the Seminoles came down into Miami and beat them like that last time. I think the Canes are going to have a shot to return the favor here. I think they win by four plus touchdowns. I think it's blowout city. Miami Hurricanes, we're on the U minus 21. One game left, guys. It is uh, the nightcap for the show, 730 Eastern time on ABC, actually, a big one in the SEC. But uh, reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm. Let me know what you're looking to bet. I'll be in there with you as well, chiming in throughout the day. I read all the comments. If you're interested in premium picks, check them out. 5% max limit going in the NFL this weekend. Also got a four-pack of plays going on Saturday for the clients. All right, last game up, top two teams in the SEC. It's LSU in Texas A&M, 730 Eastern on ABC. Kyle Field, College Station, Texas. Looks like uh, clear skies here for LSU in Texas A&M, the Aggies. Minus one and a half point home favorites, 55 being the total. I also talked about this one on the college football opening line report. And I mentioned, hey, we might get over money and we might get LSU money. Well, actually, both of those happen. Hey, I'm getting kind of good at this stuff. You know, you do it for 10 years. It's your straight job doing the NFL opening line report as well. And then you switch over to college football. So it's not rocket science here, guys. You just look out for things. Um, But we'll go over that on Monday if you come back and join on Monday's show. For this bet, though, I'm on the LSU Tigers, guys. I think they're underrated. Um, they're 6-1 and one on the season. They've covered three straight. Um, also, Texas A&M here, their best offensive lineman went out with an injury in the win over Mississippi State, and that was a sloppy win. A lot of people think Mississippi State's the worst team in the SEC. Texas A&M kind of struggled with them there. Might be kind of a a, a red flag. They gave up 22 first downs to Mississippi State. It was a seven-point game in the fourth quarter. They could have lost that. Now they, however, they did win. They kind of got out of their, uh, uh, you know, and now they got LSU. This is a big-time game. Texas A&M and LSU, they kind of have some coaching carryover here in terms of uh, what Texas A&M's head coach, excuse me, guys, Mike Elko, was Brian Kelly's defensive coordinator 
at Notre Dame. So uh, they know each other pretty much, obviously working, working for one another a couple years ago. LSU's defense has allowed one touchdown the last six quarters, and they're going up against an AM, AM offense. Connor Wegman is their quarterback. I'm not a huge Connor Wegman guy. I think LSU defense really holds them at bay here. And I think LSU wins this game outright. I mean, we'll put the one and a half in our pocket as the dog. But yeah, LSU it is a team that's already beat Ole Miss. They've looked strong. They won, what, 34-10 against Arkansas um, on the road as well. So that should get them ready here. So we are on the LSU Tigers. Go Tigers! The Bayou Bengals. Plus one and a half in recap. It's the Miami Hurricanes minus 21 over the FSU Seminoles. We get the Washington Huskies to kind of surprise here. Plus five and a hook over the Indiana Hoosiers. And the first game we talked, guys, it's Navy and Notre Dame. We've gotten that over money, but uh, I still think it gets up and over. So we're Notre Dame and Navy over to start us off here. So uh, that's the four games. Comment below. Smash that like button. Check out premium picks, wagertalk.com. We'll be back uh, Sunday, the NFL show, and uh, then we'll have Monday Monday morning here, guys. We got college football opening line reports. So come back and join. Drew Martin checking out. Enjoy your weekend. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.